Hi there, welcome back. So let's continue with our basic introduction to meshing and repairing geometries with Zenova. Okay, so in the previous video, we talked about different format, which one is the best one. So, so far we established that a step is a very good one or any of the proprietary formats like SOLIDWORKS and so on are very good. Um, it might happen that sometimes you import a geometry and you are missing some features. Okay, you need to do some some fixing in the geometry repair zones and okay some manipulation so let's do some basic manipulation so from the previous video i showed you this format the colada that has a problem you no know, missing edges feature edges and then also the edges is not it's not close okay so let's introduce it you know show you how to fix this one so important thing that when you import the geometry okay and let's choose here see here that you have some options okay feature angle so as you reduce this value you are going to extract more features more edges depending on the geometry so likely this will work very well in this tl is you have parametric cat uh geometries pretty much i think this doesn't have any influence okay but also you can define here you click here you can define some options on default options so as you go here into import here you can define some basic values in okay, case so you want to change something. Okay, so that's up to you. Okay, so geometry is very important. Okay, and bringing back here our geometry. So this is what we're doing, and I want to stress that you need to work with solid models. Models. Okay, so if you use a decent CAD application, everything will be a solid model. Okay, so in this case, I'm using on shape. I love it. Okay, so but it doesn't matter. You can use any decent CAD, and you always will generate uh, a solid. Okay, however, you have the option to generate surfaces, and I don't recommend. You see here that we have a surface. Same geometry with a surface avoid surfaces surfaces can give you problems okay so try to avoid always at the end get a close model so now from top of my memory i think reno 3d is a surface based application and if you have used reno geometries in my site i have used and it's terrible okay because then you have the surfaces that they are not matching and so on so the idea of having a solid model is that you are doing a sanity checks and everything is matching there are no 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 small gaps and so on and then when you move into an over then you have the second test that is the volume there that we're going to see later so in this case we're working with an internal geometry now we want to model the flow inside the pipe but the same workflow same will apply if we if we use an external aerodynamics okay or aerodynamics in this case so see that we have an impeller and we want to simulate everything outside that and eventually probably this impeller will be rotating so later we're going to do this case but just to show you that in this case we have different volumes okay how we can create different zones okay but they this always the same always try to get solid models okay so that being said let's go back here and the colada what we have here the first problem is that we're missing the edges so if you're missing edges or if you want to capture more edges remember you go here in your tree geometry okay you have different options here we are working in geometry identify the geometry okay and here you have create feature edge click there select your angle select the select different options here so i will leave it as it is in this case and a set and there you go you have your edges and now it's a double edges they are all black and you can use that information to do your mesh okay so this is the basic fix so for instance you are not happy with this one because it didn't close the whole loop okay you can just select again and create features reduce that angle let me put 30 and there you go 30 works fine okay so this is when you are missing edges okay how you do it. so now let's go back to the edges okay we talk about the edges okay of all the formats it didn't close this the the whole geometry so in this case as we have these are called direct edges are called single edges they are only attached to a single surface so here we have gaps, we have surfaces. This is not a solid, didn't manage to close that solid. So how do we repair this in here? So always stay in geometry, okay? And now you start to select surfaces or edges now to apply your repair. So in this case, it pretty much will be everything in surfaces. So if I select this face, see that it goes purple there, pink. 
control multiple selections so you select these two and what we want to do is intersect these ones to have a close edge okay so if you right click now here you have many options and you have intersects or faces and see that now it's black and we do the same with all faces okay so i will do this and this intersect this and this and let me select the other one let me see if it works sometimes it doesn't work so okay it worked and now let me intersect this and this and see that everything now is nicely black and i left this one to the end just to show you something because also depends in the order of the selection okay so i would select this to this intersect and see that what i have here now this edge is there i have red that we know what a red but now we have a new one which is yellow okay so it's connected to multiple surfaces so this is not good okay so it's splitting in a strange way the surface so remember this is automatic so what it's doing is connecting this topology to this but it's trying to follow some features here you know there is some under this there is some parameterization in the file so it's trying to follow something and it's giving this problem okay so we select it from here to here. So remember you have undo, undo, okay, yes. We went back to the previous state and now let me select from here to here. Intersect and see that now is a beautiful black line as we want. So now this is a proper close. You visually inspect, hide the surfaces, nothing strange there and you can work so it's quite strange that previous step that the order matters and it's a matter many things how you choose things might have an importance so sometimes if you apply some fix in this case or faces and you don't get a good result just go back and try to do it in another order okay so in this case we work only f with surfaces i want to point out that you can apply similar fixings to edges okay so you have different options in this case we don't need to Okay, but later well, I will bring another geometry where we need to fix edges. But the idea is the same, merge edges, create vert vertices here and so on. So for instance, if I look at this geometry, I look at this edge. This edge, I maybe I don't need it. Okay, so probably it's nice because I can add local refinement here or concentrate cells or just to follow this feature, but maybe I don't need it. So you right click and see that you have the option remove and that's all, it's gone. Okay, and same will happen with this one. You don't need it. So see that you have it just in one side. Okay, so let me generate this surface mesh, leaving all those edges just to show you. Okay, so we've repaired this geometry and then when we move to mesh, ah, by the way, before moving to mesh, remember we have the second sanity check. The first sanity check is that when you do your geometry, you have solids. Okay, and then and now will force you to have another sanity check because it may happen that you're saving the wrong format or something happened, saving the file, whatever. So right click and you create your volume. You have your volume, no error, so that you can move now to the next step, which is meshing. Okay, we're now in meshing here and let's click here to bring global parameters. Okay, so let me define just the maximum size, nothing else. Okay, that is more than enough for this basic case. And let me put it, Okay, that is okay. And then I just want to do surface mesh. Okay, so remember the topology base, okay, it is from surface to boundary layer to volume mesh. Then we have some other techniques of three, if you're familiar with the snappy, this will be the equivalent. And then we have the string wrap mesh, okay, which is slightly different, but they is similar. So let's work here and I generate this mesh. Uh, let's see what we have let me change the color okay it's not very visible so color and let me put green and see that we have this okay it's a nice mesh nothing nothing strange okay but sometimes it might happen okay when you have these hard features there so those hard edges and nodes that the application, the meshing tool may try to follow this and can give you problems. And sometimes you might need to erase some of those. So for instance, we have this one here and let's see if I would recall, let me go here, zero five. And this one probably will give me some strange behavior there. 
Okay, so see that what I was telling you. So as you look at from one side here, everything looks cool. But now when you look at here, see that the meshing tool is trying to follow that edge that you have there. Okay, which is not bad, it's good. Okay, but in this case, it works in this way. So here it requires some manual intervention. Okay, so remember that automatic sometimes is it's not entirely true, but it's not a problem since it can be fixed. But here you can fix by adding local refinement and forcing some specific behavior. But I know that my specific problem here, and if I bring back the geometry, is that a specific edge that I have there. It's not the null, it's only the edge. So if I go back to my underlying problem, which is the geometry, okay? And I select here, okay, let me edge. Okay, 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 let me delete mesh, select the edge, okay, and remove. Yes, I remove the edge from my topology, okay, and now I go back to meshing, and hopefully it will work fine. And there you go, same parameters, but see that we erased that information there, and now it's working fine. Okay, so always inspect as you see those problems and any machine tools you have to use sometimes you see that you have you now when you have edges colliding or surfaces intersecting that the mesh tends to be finer there but it's just because it's following with that topology okay so it's a topology mesh based tool is you use a to fault tolerant like a snappy x mesh that pretty much doesn't doesn't apply okay but this is the really robust mesh meshing okay and at this point, I think to show you that we have here uniform, but also local refinement. So if I go back to geometry, okay, and here's where I need to apply local refinement. So for instance, I can select this edge, right click and see that you have this option. Okay, set mesh parameters. So later we're going to talk about what is this specific one, because it's a very nice feature I really like, but we're more interested in set size. Okay, so set size and let put there zero, zero, 001 and see that you have a reference size. So sometimes if you want to have an idea of the, the dimension, okay, and for you it's not clear the geometry, just you can go back to the geometry and define this and you have it there. Okay, so we define it 0 0.05 and let's put 0 0.02 there. So now you apply that local refinement there in that cell. As you go to in, the, in that edge, here, okay, you're going to do the mesh and now you have that refinement there. So you can apply that in every single entity that you have in geometry. So it can be surfaces, edges, node, okay? And you can create also density that later we're going to see. So that's how we fix meshes, okay, uh, geometry, so it's a, basic manipulation but i think it's more than enough to get you started and also remember that when you do the mesh and you're going to move to the simulation stage you need to create your name selection so select okay so you select your faces and you give a name so see here the move to group and i will say this will be inlet one this will be uh, outlet sorry so this call it outlet and this one i will call it inlet 2 okay so always change the name okay otherwise you are going to have a single surface so it's not possible to to do your simulation or to assign the proper boundary conditions and nothing changed okay to do your machines pretty much you click there and that's all you will have that information when you export your mesh okay that later in this case we have the surface later we're going to move into volume and so on okay so this is just to introduce you this basic manipulation of the geometry so at this point i think i'm going to stop and just the final takeaway that you have many formats recommended one step format or if you want to keep working with your solid wars or katia whatever those are very good try to avoid the ijs or the colada also the reno try to avoid the form formats and when you work with the geometry try to get solid models avoid surfaces because they can be problematic and we saw a little bit some basic manipulation how to close 
a geometry okay so let me go back and if i open that i just okay you want everything black meaning that everything is closed watertight connected you have red or yellow or blue blue probably is not very problematic because it means it's not connected to anything but you need to fix this these issues okay so thank you for your attention see you next time bye